Hello everyone, Matthew here again on Sunday the 13th of March 2022. I thought I was going to do that then, <laughs> in one go. Um, very, very tired boy today. Little one has been up for two nights in a row, not feeling very well. So I've had about four hours sleep over the last, well, eight hours sleep over the last two nights. Most of it coming in the morning in the form of a Passing out on the sofa, or a little bit of kip in bed. But six foot three men are not meant for tiny beds. This is going to be a hard day today. Yeah, sorry the idea of not coming, but I need to because I love it, and I'm hoping to come out of this feeling better. But I'm not hoping there's no running which is going to be no stuff that requires hand-eye coordination which is going to be anything that re requires quick reactions which is going to be it's just going to be it's going to be long it's going to be long but you know gotta get into it um, and for today uh, the question i'm going to ask some of the team members hopefully is what is your goal for the season and I'd love to hear what your goals are for the season as well. Part of me thinks I may have asked this question on the earlier video, but training last week has been another zilch. It's been difficult. There's been the tummy bug that's going around, so it's pretty much taken the household uh, captive. No, but everyone's feeling much better now. It's just been it's been a hard week to get anything done. I need to get back onto it. It's one of the hardest things I'm finding at the moment is taking that first step to just doing something like just a press up or a squat or something just to get the ball rolling. Just can't get the energy or anything to do it. I know I'm going to be worse off for not doing it. And I have to push myself and motivate myself to do it. But again, when I find myself in these little ruts and slumps, it's really difficult to get out of. But you know, I drove here, we're outside Le Forum in Withenshaw and we're going to get after it. Probably can't tell that in my voice. Some of you are probably thinking, wow, you sound extremely passionate today, especially listening to the podcast for long enough. This is my excited voice. Let's go. Let's go. My goal for this season is to become one of Manchester's best pitchers. Um, so I'm setting the standards pretty, pretty high. Um, I feel like you need to have like high standards to be able to achieve, you know, the best out of yourself um, and just general fitness, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I definitely my eyes are definitely to become one of the best pitchers. Uh, I'm spending more time to practice. I'm meeting with other teammates outside of this training session that we're doing now, maybe twice, three times a week. Uh, but I would like to practice more. Um, I want to put the time in because I want to play competitively, even though I, I'm, I am new to the sport, but I do want to push myself and be one of the top players and be recognised as that. I'm Dom, uh, I've just started playing, so my goal is to play a proper game. Um, that's it. Lovely, thanks Dom. Great. Hi, I'm Josh, I've only just started playing as well, so my goal is to play at least round five games. Lovely, that's, that's thank you much. very much. Thank you. the season is to be more aggressive in the batting perspective to be to try to hit more hits 
but yeah, this is my goal for this season. Thank you very much. So I just got back in the car after wandering around the car park aimlessly for... I found the car though. I hope this is my car. Yeah, there's an empty packet of reasons on the seat. It's my car. Did a lot of ground ball work. Still really loving ground ball work. Working on backhand after doing some nice warm up and um, throwing. D really didn't go my way, but I, I still wanted to give it what I could. I didn't try to pull anything apart from the warm up, which was lunges and running. I am not built for either. Not anymore, not with my 70 year old man knees. But I still did what I could. Other highlights include doing some batting at the end with the squishy balls, that was good fun. I wasn't going to give it a go, but I got talked into it. And um, thank you to all the uh, people that contributed towards their uh, their goals. I tried to get some new rookies' opinions on stuff. And I think you'll find that my own goals and ideas for what I want to when I was a rookie as well, pretty much the same. A lot of people just starting off small and want to work, work their way big. Oh, I said to some of them off camera as well. I'm probably not the best person to offer this advice, but with their goals that they've they've set, like how can we help them achieve it? So, I think I've mentioned before in the video what my own goals are. It's probably quite a lengthy list, but I think just stripping them all back and seeing how people are just having nice, simple, easy goals and targets. That's my goal. Just just to be a good teammate. If that means stepping back and letting some of the younger ones have more game time, then so be it. I know I knew that I wasn't that long in the sport anyway. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm no Steve Simmons, but you know that that's a goal to, to stay in the sport for as long as possible. But uh, yeah, it's just quite nice to hear other people's thoughts. So again, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are and your goals, and I'll see you all next week. Take it easy.